So with coronavirus, I'm finding that I'm not driving my car as much as I used to. And when I go to start it, sometimes the immobilizers drain the battery. I've put a solar panel in the back window, but it's not bringing in quite enough power to charge the car battery up. So I wanted to try and see what was going on. So what I really wanted was a graph of how much power was going into the battery and what the battery charge was over time. So this is what I've come up with to solve that problem. You can get uh, commercial uh, sensors which will measure voltage and current and you could connect one of those up to a microcontroller. But this is a really easy way of doing something with nothing more than a microcontroller and a few passive components. So how this works is you've got solar panel here. Uh, this is producing current which will be charging the car battery. Now when it is producing current, um, the there will be more voltage across here than there will be across here because this resistor is dropping a little bit of, of voltage. A one ohm resistor means that one amp of power will produce one volt. So Esprino's inputs will take up to about 3.3 volts. So we could see about 3.3 amps of power going into the car battery, which is way more than this um, solar panel will produce, especially in England. Um, so first off, what we do is we just power the Esprino board for the, the plus voltage and we ground it here. And then we connect this input um, up to the other side of the resistor. Now we're doing that with a 100K resistor here just to protect it. And the capacitor helps get um, get a much better analog reading when you're using very high value resistors. We also wanted voltage, so we are just measuring the voltage here using a potential divider. 100K up here and 24K down here means that you have roughly one fifth of the voltage. So um, 15 volts, which is kind of the maximum we're expecting, will go down to about three volts. And again, the capacitor helps to, um, to get a better analog reading. Now the code for this looks pretty simple. Um, here we're getting the amps. The analog read command gives us a value between naught and one, which corresponds to a voltage between naught and 3.3 volts. So we can just multiply this by 3.3. Uh, to get the voltage, we, we read from the D31 analog input, times it by 3.3 to get a voltage. And then we times it by 124 over 24 which is basically making up for um, this resistor network. Now, this value won't be exact because the resistor values aren't exact, um, but you could calibrate it yourself either by measuring the resistances yourself or just by um, measuring a few voltages about what you have versus what you expect. Now, the only other thing to note here is that we're actually measuring the voltage across the solar panel, not the car battery. Uh, the voltage across the car battery is the voltage across the solar panel minus the amount of amps um, because that will be the amount of voltage that's being being dropped across here. So that's all our measuring done. Um, we're using the average library here just so that we can get some nice graphs and um, and then we are getting this data and putting it into a Bluetooth advertising packet just so that if we want to at some point later we can make something that will um, display the current voltage on the car battery without us even having to connect to the Bluetooth module. Now, if we want to get data for a graph, we can just um, do things like type in volt average dot print, and that will give us a nice JSON formatted string, giving us all the, um, all the current voltage values that we have. Um, so, so at the moment, this is basically zero because we um, we haven't been um, been running this for more than a few minutes. And if you're wondering why the voltage is only about 8.8 volts, it's because I'm using a, um, a car battery, a remote control car battery pack, just to, to get some values while it's on my desk. So um, this, once uploaded, gives us a perfectly nice working um, working data logger. Uh, we've set the name here to um, this weird string, which you can look these up on this website here, and this will give us a little car emoji so that if, you, um, if you're if you pairing, you'll actually see a little picture of a car um, in your Bluetooth connection window. So next step is, um, is graphing that data. 
Now we're after, we're actually going to make a website that looks a bit like this. Um, this will show us the voltage. Again, it hasn't been running for very long in this example. Um, shows you the voltage in bright red and the amps in bright green. Uh, and then in dark green, it shows you the previous day's voltage and amps. And in gray, it shows you the, the average. Uh, and then it can do it for each day of the month as well as each month of the year. So to make this work, you don't actually need a bunch of code. You just use the PuckJS library to um, get nice, easy communication with the Esprino Bluetooth device, and you use Chart.js to, um, to get some charts. So here we use Puck.modal, which just puts up a little, um, a little screen saying click to continue. This is to get around a security restriction that stops web Bluetooth from just starting up as soon as a web page refreshes. Uh, the next thing, once we've clicked through that, is we say puck.write and we say voltaverage.print, which is basically what we did in the IDE window just now. We put a new line after to execute it, and we put this character code 16 before it just to tell us we know not to echo the characters back to us, which gives us a much cleaner um, data that we, we get back. We can then take off the... Um, uh, the little arrow from the end, which is basically uh, what you see here. Whenever you enter a command, um, you get the result of the command plus the, the little prompt at the end. So um, now we've got the data, we pass it into JSON here, and we call this add chart function, which just calls chart.js and um, and draws the chart with all the lines for red, dark, red, gray for the average, green, dark, green, and gray for the average again. And that's all you need. You just need to host this on a HTTPS website, and then you can use it using your phone or anything else in order to view a up-to-date graph of um, all the energy that's going into your car battery and the available voltage in it. Thanks for watching.